Hey guys, Wooperlaw here, bringing you another League of Legends analysis video. Previously, we looked at a team fight and some of the mistakes you can make even if you're really far ahead. And this time, we're going to look at positioning for AD carry as well as initiation. Often in low-level games, I hear players saying stuff like, why are you hitting the tank? Why aren't you hitting such and such character? Why do you initiate like that? These are things you even hear at medium elo and high elo games. It's really important to watch team fights, look at what you could have done differently, and uh, look at the mistakes that people made. We're going to look at this team fight between TSM and Azubu Blaze in game two of their series in MLG. In this game, Blaze is up 3k gold, which is not very much. This is really even, uh, really even game uh, in gold, and this team fight can can sway the can sway the outcome of the game in either way. So in this team fight. Reaper initiates first on Reginald and then he goes for Chaos. It's actually a pretty bad initiation because his team is spread out in a line behind him instead of in a tight ball like TSM is. I'm not sure if he knows that John is here, but he might have thought, oh, there's four TSM members, the last one is far away, and I'm going to initiate 5v4. But this is actually a pretty bad initiation because his teammates aren't immediately able to help him, and it's why they lose the fight. So let's look at the initiation. So, Reaper jumps on uh, Reginald and then immediately goes for Chaos. Immediately, all three, all four TSM members go on Reaper. Uh, Odd one fears him, fears him off, fears him this way, and Reginald steps up, puts his poison down, and get, lands a great ulti on all of these Zubu members. They're slowed by Ash's arrow. You can see the frost here, and they're uh, hit by Reginald's ulti face first. So Zubu isn't immediately able to help uh, Reaper. Reaper is able to get Chaos to half, but now Chaos has no pressure on him. He's able to free fire onto Reaper. Reaper has no more closing distance on Chaos. See Shirelli's pop by Zubu here. You can see that Chaos, Reaper is able to get back on Chaos. Chaos flashes away. Now he's completely safe from the all, all the other four members of Zubu. This is what you want to do as, a, uh, as an AD carry. You want to be max range away from them. So anytime he steps forward, you should be stepping backwards. You can see he shoots, steps backwards. You can see this is a really good movement by Chaos. Vlad comes in with his pool, and since Chaos can't shoot him, he doesn't step up. He steps backwards. He waits until Vlad comes out of his pool. He steps backwards, waits until Vlad comes out of his pool, and then continues shooting him. Skarner steps up, Chaos steps back. And now the chase. Kills. Skarner, Kyox moves up, and eventually kills Soraka too. So, what did we learn from that? We learned that Kyox doesn't go for targets. He doesn't go for Corky, he doesn't go for Vlad, he goes for whatever he can shoot. Back up. Here. He doesn't go for a target. He just goes, he stays max range away from the closest target. He just backs up. As soon as anybody goes towards him, he backs up. It's stunned. He backs up, shoots, shoots, max range, right? He, he's, he gets too close. Eventually, uh, he get, um, the rally gets too close. Can't get peeled, so he flashes away. Ash is a very, um, standard AD carry. She has no escape. And she, she doesn't have the tool set that other AD carries have. Like, Corky has, uh, Valkyrie, but Ash doesn't have any of those. She has only her flash, and she needs to save it for, the perfect opportunity, something that will save her. And that really saved a ton of damage. If she didn't flash there, Skarn would have been able to come up and ult her. But she flashed away. Now she's basically immune to damage from these four members, and Aurelia has no other way to, to close. So you can see how she's staying max range away from all the other players in the group. And you can see nothing touches... Uh, Chaos in that fight. Only the initiation, which wasn't that good, because Aurelia died and really didn't accomplish too much. So that was a 3-2 fight. It wasn't the most one-sided fight, because Corky and uh, Vlad were able to get out, but they're both very, very low. Very, very low. And if they had fought this out to the end, like if they were in, say, Baron Pit and they weren't able to get away, they would have lost this fight 5-2 instead of 3-2. But they were able to disengage. 
So hopefully you learned something about AD carry positioning. Hopefully you learned something about initiation also. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more content from me, you can check out the links below or you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks.